No, no. It is all visible, ma'am. Yeah, is it visible? Okay. Just let me know when to start the session, and I will start. Am I audible? Uh, Ma'am, your voice is not audible actually. Ma'am, am I audible? Yes, ma'am, you are audible. Should I start, ma'am? Yes, ma'am, I'm starting the session. Oh, okay. A very good afternoon to our respected faculty members and my fellow students. Today, we have gathered here for an online session on the topic of problem solving and ideation by our guest speaker, Mrs. Shweta Mishra, who is an innovation ambassador, assistant professor at Dr. D.Y. Patel Institute of Pharmaceutical Science and Research, Pune. Mrs. Shweta Mishra has completed her MPharm and was a gold medalist in pharmaceutical chemistry and also registered her PhD program from School of Pharmacy, DAVV, indoor on the topic design synthesis and biological evaluation of some modulators affecting insulin receptor activity. Ms. Shweta Mishra is currently working on multi-target drug discovery approach for the treatment of diabetes. 
Mang is also having a joint research collaboration from the pharmacy department of Kyoto University, Japan for her PhD work. Ms. Shweta Mishra has conducted MHRD impact lecture series organized in association with MOE and Sri Aurobindo Institute of Pharmacy Indore and also successfully completed her one month online internship in research training conducted by MSME and also participated in UGC and sponsored two week refresher course in pharmacy. We are glad to have you here, ma'am, and over to you, ma'am. Thank you so much for such a lovely introduction. So just uh, let me have a minute to just share my screen. Yeah, so I hope the screen is visible to everyone. Please confirm it. Is the PPT visible? Yes, ma'am. The yes, ma yes, ma okay. Thank you so much. So, very good afternoon to everyone. I am here to give a presentation on problem solving and ideation workshop. So, to start with, we are going to discuss only the problem solving uh, part. So, when we are talking about an entrepreneur or when we are talking about an startup, so the problem solving, how it is going to be approached. So the problem solving is the process of using an innovation and creative solutions to close the gap by resolving the societal business or the technological problems. So many a times, um, if I'm giving you the local example, then I am from Pune right now. And uh, the first startup which is established in Pune is firstcry.com. If you see uh, the owner, how he established that first cry is due to his personal experiences that when he become a father, he need to go for different, different websites in order to search for the toys and for the milk products or any such products for their own kid. So that's how he came up with an idea of firstcry.com that where all the accessories related to their kid should be available at the single site. So that's how an entrepreneur has the problem solving skill. And if it is validated with the market, if he understands the need of the customer, then uh, it is going to be a startup. So an entrepreneur needs to visualize the prospect of revising a product or creation of the entirely new product. Revising a product because many a times it is seen um, nowadays I'm facing the same question again and again by many of my students that if the startup is so much good and so much evolved in India, then why many startups are closing so far? So the only reason is they have not done the market research quite well. So uh, according to the customer need, according to the feedback from a customer product needs to go for the revision also, apart from just making it and bringing it into the product stage in the market. So this is the photograph which is showcasing the river banks of most famous rivers in India like Ganga. This is the Ganga river during the festivals. You can see how many flowers and other things which we use for worship process that is going to accumulate into the river causing a hazardous condition especially for the aquatic animals. And there, an entrepreneur who was living in Kanpur who has been passed out from the IIT Kanpur that person gave it an idea that why not to clean all these river banks using this uh, flowers as, as escalating all these flowers. And here comes the startup which is known as Fool. This particular Fool startup is uh, organized or is owned by Ankit Agrawal. This is the person behind the Fool who is right now not only recycling the flowers into the intense sticks or into the uh, havan sticks, but that person is also recycling the same flowers into a leather, which is giving you the same feel of a leather, but that is uh, recycled from the flowers and that is from the plant origin. So now talking about what an entrepreneurial problem skills should be having. So that person should be having a critical uh, thinking process. That person should be having to evaluate uh, the product or the details which is related to the startup. Then that person needs to be quite good in the communication when it, it, it is coming from an communication to the evaluators, to the investors, to the employers, to the customers. The communication could, has to be in a good hand. 
then the ability to act on the solutions many a times the inventor or the owner or the startup owner and entrepreneur needs to act quite fast on their decisions on the ability to solve a particular problem decisiveness should be there the ability to analyze the data there are n number of data which is going to be generated from a particular problem but which particular problem you need to pick and on uh, which particular problem you need to resolve that makes a basic difference then the industry and the business awareness is quite important what is going to evolve industry or the business is always going to change day by day so according to the changing industry you need to adapt that and you need to put that thing also in your product then only you are going to sustain into the market you need to be resourceful so these are all the uh, some of the important entrepreneurial problem solving skills out of which if we are discussing then uh, the decision making skill is one of the most important uh that uh, there are various solutions which are going to be available for a single problem but which particular solution is the most important and you need to go with that solution forming a product is defined as the decision making skill then you need to take an initiative initiative is the most important aspect for a successful entrepreneur so by an initiative i mean that in order to have a customer acquisition it is not important that you uh, the customer is buying your product it is always important that the same customer is going to return back to you for purchasing the same product again and again then only you are going to have a profit based on that so that is going to be called as a customer acquisition and in order to have a customer acquisition you need to take an initiative you need to take an initiative regarding the feedback of your product on a regular basis that what it is changing what needs to be changed what needs to be improved how can you change it that particular initiative it comes it needs to be come from an entrepreneur then the critical thinking is very important critical thinking i give you the simple example of this um disclaimer i am not supporting any of the government agenda but i am just supporting that um, the view of a critical thinking uh during the first election of modi ji the he says that uh, the um india badal raha hai desh badal raha hai somewhat like that statement and uh, uske baad fir aaya ki acche din aane wale hain so uh, even the opponents the congress party also says a lot of many times that acche din aane wale the kab aaye so that's how even the opponents were giving their own uh, slogan again and again so that was a quite creative thinking that they were using the same slogan and ag again and again throughout the year which make them uh, getting a vote in their vote basis understanding a business it is not always important to spend hours in front of um, your business if it is related to the uh, con computer software or giving such a so many time sitting at your um, business hold it is not that important but it is important to understand your business and the way of understanding only comes from an experience so you need to be experienced you need to do each and everything which is related to that solution even if you are failing you will come to know that okay this is the thing which i need not to do from later on which is leading me to fail so that is the understanding part of the business then the communication skill as i have already told that it is very important to communicate with your investors with your venture center with you uh, with your incubators with your customers it is very important for an entrepreneur to be a quite good communicator then comes the common mistakes because when we are talking about startup india so india is moving towards a number one stage for the opening the startup but sustaining the same startup into the india is a biggest problem which the world is facing right now so what are the common mistakes we consider while we go for solving a particular problem statement we decide a problem statement based on the gut feeling of a personal experience ho sakta hai many a times it happens that you might be facing a single problem but that not be the same problem which can be faced by thousands or millions or lakhs of people so you need to come out with a single problem which is not only the problem of your personal issue but it is a problem of many then only it is going to be uh, called as the need the pain so that you need to decide um, many a times 
if you are a good uh, say communicator if you are uh, quite dominant or if you are good in explaining or convincing the people that they need to purchase your product even if they are purchasing your product and you are not able to make them understand that what's the need of that particular product then automatically your sales is going to decrease that because the person can buy your product for the first time but the same person is not going to return back to your shop because that was not the need of the customer so you need to sell the solutions according to the explanation according to the problem according to their need then only you are going to survive then you need to know how many companies will be using or how many people will be using your product obviously if that that particular product is there then uh, so many number of competitors are going to be there then how your product is going to be superior in comparison to the other competitors that makes a major issue and that is the main factor which is going to be called for your product as usp so you need to know what is the unique selling proposition in your product as compared to other competitors apart from that many a times what we do is we generate a fake google reviews many a times we just think that uh, our product is going to be sell on the basis of the customer reviews so why not to fake it so many a times we have a biased internet test social media post we get the uh, we give the money to the social influencers and they run it on their social uh, platforms like instagram and all but that is not going to fix your target customer on a longer run maybe for a short goal you will get the target customer but for a longer run you are go not going to have the customer set for you so uh, the answer of how the their solution is going to impact in customer journey that is the main thing which you need to know if all these points are crystal clear to know then great you are going in the right direction if not think rethink restart your work so that you can come to the same conclusion again so now we have talked about what all the problem statement can be what are the uh, entrepreneurial skills which we need to have for solving a problem uh, then we had discussed what are the common mistakes which an entrepreneur make in order to solve a problem now we need to see that what are the different type of the problem validation tests because we understood that the problem is there we understood what mistakes we need not to do but how to validate that okay this is the real problem so in order to have that there are few methods the first method is an interview so the interview um, when you ask whenever you ask at any time at any month at any second at any minute you ask your mom uh, about anything related to you she will always give you a biased answer that you are doing great and you are the most handsome or the prettiest or the beautiful girl or the boy who is available on the earth but we internally we know that that is not a right fact so uh, the interview thing is you need to set some rules and you need to craft the questions in such a way that even your mother can't lie, lie to you about that so that is a part of an interview the next comes the survey where you need to design and uh, put some random questions and subjective information related to give you or provide an information about your product the real time data so that needs to be there the based on the survey after that comes the emotional mapping so emotional mapping is you need to feel what is the pain point and what is the frustration say for an entire process if we are talk calling about a bank uh, the bank has different different segments what will happen if a bank is going to have um, a different different segment and the customer is going to move from one desk to another and the whole day is spent in that process so that is the pin point that if the process of the banking goes online then it is going to solve the issue for a customer it is going to save the time as well as it is going to save the energy for the bankers as well so that is the emotional mapping you need to do that what is exact pin point of the customer that you need to find out then the prototype testing prototype uh, there are few confusing terms when it comes to an entrepreneur or when it comes to an uh, entrepreneurship which is the prototype proof of concept minimal viable product they all sound like one but they are not one proof of concept means when you are having an idea and you are just checking out the feasibility of that particular idea then that is going to be called as the proof of concept 
when from this particular proof of concept you are generating a product which is going to validate that okay this is this is the look of the product which is going to be available into the market then that particular product is going to be called as a prototype and after prototype which comes is the minimal viable product that is the miniature of the product which is going to be available in the market so here we are calling about the prototype where you are checking the validity and the feasibility of your product so that is going to be under the prototype testing after that comes the competitive user testing competitive user testing by that i mean that an entrepreneur needs to provide all the competitor products in front of a customer and he that particular customer needs to use all the competitor products and then if they are concluding that your product is best then only you should think to put it into the market so these are the different type of the problem validation test which you should know only at the stage of the prototype only so that you don't invest much and you don't have the risk of um, you know uh, giving everything in that and uh, then losing it back then you need to have an expert testing many a times what we do is we take a customer from a layman person layman aspect and we reach into the market and later on when the expert study is done when the research r and d is done into the market then we come to know that okay there are many problems which are available in the product which we need to revise first and then we need to put into the market so that expert testing needs to be done at the uh, very first stage itself and then before launching the product into the market it is mandatory to have a website to have a social media interest to have sub a specific page which can tell that okay this is the product which you are going to launch this is the feedback link where you can provide us you are if you are having any complaints or something this is the real link where you can contact us giving them a mail uh, id or giving them a contact number so this is the thing which you know develops an interest or a trust factor with the customer and your enterprise or your organization so that is the few type of the test which you need to do before reaching uh, out for a solution so now we have seen that what is the problem statement how to solve it what are the entrepreneurial so, uh, problem solving skills one need to have what are the validation tests you need to do now we talk about how many type of problem solvers are there in the market so basically it is divided into three categories the first category is self regulating problem solver now what i mean by the self regulating problem solver so one um, we can give that particular i can explain that by giving you a particular example this particular person identifies a problem they thinks of a solution and without having influence by anybody else they just implement the solution so they try to minimize the risk all by themselves i can give you an example that if i am a coder i am a computer coding and i have to deal with my client and the client has given me some task that okay i need to provide all these things which is based on a computer algorithm and i need to provide the solution to my client so i will prepare that algorithm and before giving that to the customer i will test it by myself i will validate the solution by myself and if it is generating any error i will rectify it by myself before reporting same to the customer and then i am providing the same to my client so that is self regulating problem solver where the person is themselves uh, applying the solution and they are doing everything quite speedily so the only advantage with this particular problem solver is the speed the next problem solver comes as the theorist problem solver so this is one of my favorite where they discover a problem that okay this is the problem they think about a solution systematically by a different different processes and they take one step at a single time based on a theory they try to resolve a problem and on the basis of that theory they come up with a solution so let me give you an example of madam mary curie as we are in the field of pharmacy we have all might have heard somewhere madam mary curie so while investigating while isolating an element she had done n number of research but every time she was failing again and again but she used to write down all her failures 
then one fine day madam mary curie isolated radium from that failure theories itself so this is uh, if she would be an entrepreneur she would have been a great entrepreneur because she is pro therapist problem solver where they are the problem is going to be solved on the basis of a theory where they reject all the failures where they work on the all the possible aspects which are available for that particular problem statement so this is going to be the another type the last type is going to be the practitioner problem solver so practitioner problem solver is a person who loves to build a team before going for anything alone that person believes in a team environment so what is going to happen here if an entrepreneur discovers a problem that okay this is the problem but instead of solving that problem all alone that person waits for other uh, other uh, uh, persons also to discuss about his solution if they agree to work with him then only they are going to form a team and with this team they are going to agree with each other and then they are going to come out with a solution so this practitioner problem solver is going to take the maximum time in order to you know like uh, convince the people on his own idea so this is the practitioner problem solver so usually there are three type of problem solver you can decide if you want to be an entrepreneur or a startup owner you can decide which particular problem solver you are in after that the creative problem solving process so uh, right now the process solving process if you need to be more creative then how to solve that so the step one is going to be clarify you need to explore the vision you know the sky is the limit as as the world you need to go from cities to cities you need to identify that is it a real problem or you are making it a problem because you have the solution so you need to understand you need to clarify by yourself that what exactly is going to be your problem statement then the step 2 is going to be ideate explore the ideas in order to provide the solution the step 3 is going to develop so now at this particular stage after validating the idea that okay this is going to work into the market you are developing a solution and then after developing a solution you need to implement which is the fourth step and the final step is going to be evaluate before launching a particular prototype converting it into a product and launching into the market you need to evaluate <coughs> so sorry so in order to clarify we can use this particular fish bone step so the clarify is the critical step of recognizing the existence of a gap between the current stage and the desired stage so you need to understand that what exactly is available in the market what you new value proposition you are adding and how it is going to resolve the issue of a customer if these three things are clear then you are clarifying the problem statement so you need to write your problem statement here after that the major causes of that particular problem should be covered by the main arrow and this particular small arrows denotes the sub cause of that particular cause <coughs> so using this particular six steps you can form this particular fishbone step and fishbone diagram can help you design what the problem statement is we take an example so suppose we are taking an example of <clears throat> so sorry so let us take the example of a farm water pollution so uh, if there is a farmer who is working on his farm and the water which that person is going to get that water is polluted this is the problem statement <clears throat> now you need to find out what all can be the causes for this particular water pollution so the foremost reason is going to be the pesticide and fertilizer 
after that is going to be the other chemicals which you are going to use on the farm then is the reason which is known as the livestock after that the last reason is going to be the soil erosion because after using a, a exhaustive chemicals on the soil the soil is going to erode so these are all the reasons which can be covered under the main reason main problem statement of the water pollution so these are the main causes which are given to you on the orange now if you talk about the pesticides and fertilizers this is the main cause the sub cause can be the irrigation which is carried to the river streams algal blooms deplete the oxygen harm the aquatic life so these are the sub causes of that particular cause so like that you can manufacture yourself you can draw yourself your schematic diagram which can help you to decide that okay this is your problem statement and these are all the causes and sub causes which are leading to that particular problem then you need to ideate then ideate to ideate is the step of the creative problem solving process that involves generating and detailing the ideas by an entrepreneur after collecting all the relevant information of the problem the entrepreneur list as many causes of the problem as possible this is the step in which the large variety of ideas are put forth after that you need to check the idea of feasibility and the cost whatever idea is going to be most feasible and more cheaper and it is resolving the particular problem then that particular idea is your pro, uh, solution which you are going to provide for that particular problem statement so if a farm does not have a clean water then the entrepreneur need to figure out what are all the causes of a toxic water or the need to eliminate all the causes one by one so you need to investigate that what are the source for this particular uh, toxic uh, water causes and they need to work on that then is the step which is going to be develop so they need to develop that particular solution based on the idea they need to come up with a solution so now they can't add a new chemical which can you know eradicate the toxicity because the already the chemical ratio in the soil and the water is quite high so they can't add a new chemical what they need to do is not all the chemical uh, farmers want a chloride or a fluoride needed to be added into the water due to the effect on the human and the livelihood so you need to check the feasibility because you can apply a filtration system which can be more much more feasible as compared to that of the chemical but then the filtration system for the farmers is going to be bit costly so you need to check the feasibility and accordingly you need to either revise your idea <coughs> once you check that the solution of the problem is tested and evaluated then you need to implement so while implementing you need to follow up to ensure that the solution remains effective viable and uh, time to time you need to revise the problem revise the solution accordingly only it is going to work so after that you need to evaluate whatever your problem is whatever your solution you have developed that particular solution needs to be given to the farmers and that farmer solution needs to be implemented and they are going to evaluate whether the water pollution problem is going to be resolved or not so that is all about the problem solving process now let's move towards the ideation now can anyone please tell me on the chat box that according to them what they do they mean by an innovation how can we define an innovation can anybody please tell me <clears throat> please write it on the chat box that according to you what can be an innovation come on guys anyone in the class I hope people are uh, students are still awake. They have not uh, slept into the lecture. No, ma'am, there are. <laughs> Come on, guys! It's just a very simple question that you are attending the Institution Innovation Council. 
so you need to understand now what does that mean innovation mean something that is created new which is uh, unknown before okay something which is creative and which has not been done before quite good anyone else new ideas new ideas okay <coughs> chaliye ek homework aapke liye as soon as this lecture gets over you need to tell your faculty that what is the difference between the three terms discover creativity innovation and invent okay so i hope you have learned this uh, you have you might have come across this particular words anyway in your life discover invent innovation creativity we see na many a times when um, we have our siblings and um, parents are having their um, anniversary or birthdays we put a birthday card or anniversary card and uh, one of our parent compliment us that this particular uh, sibling you may be or your sibling may be they are very creative so what is that meaning of creative and when we say that the uh, particular scientist got a nobel prize for discovering this thing so they are also discovering something new which is quite creative and which has not been developed before then why we are using the term discover why we are not using the term innovating so you need to understand that what is the difference between creative what is the difference between discovering what is the difference between innovation and inventing so all these four terms it is your uh, it is your homework i hope that uh, janvi ma'am will uh, take a update on this ha huh? so for now uh, what i am discussing is ideation and in order to ideate something you need to know what is an innovation so let's talk about first innovation so an innovation uh, if we are talking about an innovation so that is going to be a new or improved process or product that differs significantly from the unit's previous products or processes that have been available to the potential users or the product or brought into the use by a unit process so it is basically the idea is going to be there <coughs> this idea is going to be viable into the marketplace which is having an integration with a technology and science which is desirable for the users all these conditions make this idea innovative so an innovative idea can be said that something which is improved which is new which has not been done previously that all things come together to form an idea an innovative idea so a business can also be innovative because uh, a new product or a device process has been launched then that particular thing which is uh, the uh, distinguishing that particular business from the previous one or from the other one then that is going to be called as the business innovation product innovation if you are discovering a new product if that has not been invented so far or that has not been uh, discovered so far then that is going to be the product innovation business process innovation is something that the, the improved or a new business process <laughs> has been adopted which has not been known into the market so these are the different type of innovations innovative idea now we have talked about innovation when we are talking about innovative idea what it can be so innovative idea is solving real world problem using technology which is leading to the progress change development prosperity and profit all these things when combined then it is going to be called as an innovative idea so now the question arises uh, in every day when we have to complete our assignment and we simply forgot to complete that assignment a day before and the faculty is going to ask within 30 minutes to us that have you completed your assignment or not then a, simply the laziest student is going to complete the assignment quite fast because he or she needs to protect themselves from getting a new assignment or punishment or something else so now the thing is you are quite innovative in your own way 
so which particular idea is going to win how they are going to establish into the market that becomes the real question so in order to win a particular idea for an idea to be win you need to understand that what is the difference between want and need maximum if i talk to a class and I, if i ask that uh, which particular mobile phone you want the most so many of them are going to reply that they need an apple so i hope you understand that that is not this apple which you eat as a fruit but it is this apple which is uh, a mobile phone so you need to understand that what is the need of a customer and what is the want of a customer you can never satisfy the want of a customer but you need to satisfy what is the need of a customer a startup or an entrepreneur will always focus upon the painful need of a customer so the need is the number one priority an innovation for which there is a clear need that you need to understand so again an activity these two are going to be the chairs let me call this chair as a and this call as b write it on the chat box that which particular chair will you buy for your grandparents <coughs> this is chair a and this is chair b which particular chair you are going to buy and why <coughs> yes please write b okay anyone else this is a and this is b anyone else okay i think uh, as it is a classroom so my, uh, teachers might be hearing the answers by i but i might be known okay b ma'am as uh, we need to look for their comfort also okay so you know um, if you talk about a simple chair this is going to be the simple chair which is having a good design which is giving you a comfort and this is another chair which is seeing as much complicated but again if the cost for this chair is quite high and if the cost for this chair is quite low i will prefer to buy this particular chair for my grandparents as compared to this although it can enhance their comfort zone but if the pricing is quite high and the design is bit complicated they are not comfortable sitting on this chair for a longer duration then i would prefer to buy this particular chair so you need to think on not always anything which is more designful which is more complicated is going to run into the market sometimes a very small thing a very basic thing can you know equip the market like hell the second thing is used okay you have developed an innovation which is as per their need but you think that it is their need what if the need is not going to be fulfilled and they are not using that particular product to fulfill the need so then the use is going to be again the second most important criteria for an innovative idea to be successful then the third is going to be the value proposition what value it is going to provide to the customer and it need to fit properly with that of the price if you are providing a solution if you are providing a, any uh, good thing which is solving their issue and which is their need then the customer need to pay you for that particular idea if that customer is willing to pay then it is going to be called as valued so an innovation that is valued as the worth its price by the buyer then only it is going to be useful and then only it is going to provide you the revenue or the profit so um, we have so far discussed that what is how to generate an particular idea if you need to work on an idea generation then you can use this uh, innovation funnel innovation funnel model is nothing but a conceptualized method which can see uh, which can put all the factors in a particular chart and you can find yourself that at which particular stage you are in you are in the uh, thing where you need to uh, set your goal 
or you are in the stage where you need to develop an idea you are in a stage where you need to refine it you are in a stage where you need to evaluate it or you are in a stage where you need to execute or implement it at which particular stage you are in that you need to work on so after that let's now talk about how an ideation works so so far we have talked about an idea so now if i am a entrepreneur i am running a startup and my employers are not feeling like home my employers are not feeling like this is their own company then they are not going to provide me any profit because they are not going to put their heart and soul into the company so like that in order to encourage the employees google has spent 20% of their work hours meditating on new ideas that personally in, intrigue in them and potentially solve real problems if they are solving any problem if they are coming up with the new ideas here and there automatically your product is going to modify your product is going to be redesigned and you are going to sustain into the market what else a company is going to required so that's how the company is growing and they are apparently not utilizing this as before means after particularly putting this strategy on their employees the company is utilizing like hell after that on this particular ideation the companies needs to become more innovative and remain competitive by increasing the livelihood of the new products rollouts increase customer acquisition and superior financial performance if you are earning a good salary if you are giving your employees a good salary if you are earning a profit you need to give your employees that person equity as well so that they can earn more and they can think more about your company so these are some of the important points that if they are spending more of a time into your company don't increase the working hours make precise the working hours take the working hours quite less but at that particular working hour the employee needs to be quite focused so these are the few strategies if you implement being an startup owner or being an entrepreneur then you can do great uh, skills into it then the ideation techniques uh, basically there are quite good ideation techniques which one can evolve into their organization into their colleges also to come out with uh, some uh, great uh, startup ideas the first thing you can do is a crowd sourcing where the non experts and where the person who thinks differently can work together and they can form a solution for any problem then is the brainstorming where you need to generate the ideas in without any pressure and uh, you need to just give some ideas new and new ideas for that particular problem so then is going that is going to be the brainstorming then the storyboard storyboarding is something that you need to step by step give your idea uh, solution into a graphical format and that you need to you visualize that an entrepreneur need to visualize as a product so as soon as you are uh, modifying your product or inventing something new the storyboard is going to change so that is going to be the storyboard then is the team creativity <clears throat> this particular thing which we have already studied clarify idea ideate develop implement evaluate this particular thing needs to repeat itself n number of times as you are available into the market so after that you need to analyze what when where why and how the uh, what is the root cause of the problem when it is going to occur where it is going to happen why it is happening and how to resolve it if all these questions you are going to find an answer then the problem statement itself is going to be resolved now let's talk about the uh, creativity of some companies which they have used a lot on you how many of you are using ketchup kisan ketchup how many of you are using at your homes <clears throat> this might be quite uh, interesting to you if you take interest i think uh, it is hardly last 10 minutes more <clears throat> so how many of you are uh, interested yeah kisan ketchup simple how many of you had it <clears throat> majority of them are. yeah majority of them are so how they publicize it 
can anybody tell me seeing the advertisement how they publicize kisan products how they publicize it especially if we talk about ketchups <clears throat> they picturize a farmer who is plucking out the fresh tomatoes and they are putting it into a bottle and that bottle is now having the form of a ketchup <clears throat> right <clears throat> so at the back of your mind <clears throat> what you are having in your head is the ketchup kisan ketchup is going to be formed from the fresh tomatoes even the bottle if you see the bottle they also write that made with the juicy and the naturally ripped tomatoes right <clears throat> even in the photos itself it they mention the fresh tomato ketchup but what if i tell you that this is just a way to bluff the customers and that is not made up of the real tomatoes or the ripening fresh tomatoes it is just a way to you know publicize the product this is what is called as creativity so you know they just put a scarce mark into the same and this you can see this is only a brand name or a trademark and does not represent its true nature so this is just to create a myth about the product that okay this is going to be fresh tomato this is going to be the natural one but that is not the real case now let me take in another example how many of you have um, that good day biscuit kaju pista and um, good day cashew <clears throat> how many of you have that everyone ma'am yeah exactly majority of the public have this somewhere especially now diwali is going to come many uh, guest gifts us this sweets or biscuits and all these things so as the name indicates what we think that good day cashew biscuit good day cashew and pista so the majority of the biscuit what it is going to have is cashew and pista right but now let's check yes. the ingredient part again this is your good day britannia let's check the ingredient as you can see they are firstly they are using palm oil you can google it you should not use palm oil there are n number of side effects which is of palm oil number 2 if you are talking about almond that is only 1.7% if you are talking about cashew that is only 1.3% and pista in the pista badam cookie pista is only 0.8% so this is how the companies are very creative this is how they are playing with us putting the name putting the figure putting it in a green wrapper makes us think that this is quite natural and this is going to be beneficial but that's not always the case now let us talk about maggi initially when maggi came it was like maida maggi so after baba ramdev giving a patanjali store into the market then comes the atta maggi <clears throat> where it is stating that they are 100% atta with vegetables with goodness of 20 spices and herbs with a goodness of a source of iron and fiber you can check by yourself how much iron is there iron they are denoting because they are using the iodinized salt and they are <clears throat> going to use the spinach which is only 1.2% <clears throat> only because of spinach they are mentioning fiber and iron so you can think by yourself how much this product is going to be beneficial for you after that this is not only the case for the edible products this is also the case for the beautifying products let me take an example of the mama earth bringraj amla hair oil now as the name indicates bringraj amla the major constituent should be the bhringraj or the avla but that is not the case again bhringraj is only 1.5% avla is only 1.5% and brahmi one of the most important ingredient is only 1.1% uh, methi is 0.5% like that many of the major ingredients are only 0.006 or so so this is how the company plays with you making you feel that you are using this as a major ingredient but that is not the same case 
now i end up my presentation by saying that we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them which is well said by the albert einstein and thank you i am open for the questions thank you ma'am thank you for taking out uh, your precious time from your busy schedule yeah thank you so much any questions Ma'am, actually, we are having many of uh, as it is uh, college timings. Many of the students are not having their mobiles with them, and also there are okay. even first first years and the second years who are also listening to your session, ma'am. But they cannot ask you any question directly. So I'm asking uh, on behalf of them. Yeah, sure. Ma'am, just uh, the basic idea or the basic rules uh, where uh, which a student should keep in their minds regarding the word startup. what are the simple and the basic rules okay <clears throat> so the basic idea behind a startup is anything which is resolving the problem which is faced by the society which is faced by even a person individual and which according to you should be the problem which is faced by many can be a startup give let me give you an example um being girls we uh, go through the menstruation and we always need to use the sanitary napkin and many of us know that the disposal of the sanitary napkin that is a biggest issue right now in the uh, world because it is made up of polyesters and that is not going to degrade over a period of time so can we use natural biodegradable sanitary napkins which is you know um, quite safe and hygiene for us as well as when we are disposing it off it can get recycled uh, and it is not that much hazardous for the mother earth so can we come out with such solutions it can be called as a startup i hope i am able to answer your question yes thank you ma'am yeah thank you so much i have posted my mail id also so just in case if you go through or if you find any problem um, in understanding this topic or you are having any doubt to come across you can just write me on this mail id and i will be more than happy to help you out in it thank you ma'am and we are looking forward for your session again another time ma'am thank you so yeah, much yeah yeah sure same from my side thank you so much So can I now leave the meeting? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. Thank you so much.